Hey guys, I am the 50s Kid and I want to make a quick video on how to use the software that comes with these cables, um, it's called INPA, to bleed the brakes on your E46 BMW. By the way, if you have a 1999 or a 2000 model, um, you're, you, you very likely have one of these, these round black connectors inside your, um, un underneath the hood of your car somewhere. It's probably in the, uh, the well that's opposite the, the one containing the brake booster and the, and the electronics box. So uh, if you see this, uh, if you see something in your engine bay that this kind of thing would plug into, you need one of these adapters in order to use one of these cables on your car. If you look on eBay when you buy this cable, you'll see packages where it, um, this adapter actually comes with it. So just, uh, just be aware of that and, and get that if you need to. I'm just going to hook the cable to the OBD2 port uh, underneath the dash right here. Of course, it's important to turn the ignition on. I got my really old Windows XP laptop here. I got the cable plugged into it, and I'm going to start INPA. And you need to start this INPA with the IPO in the parentheses right there. The, the IPS one beneath it won't work for some reason. So uh, you can see battery on, ignition on. If, uh, if they're not on, it'll say off, and there's obviously a problem. So once you have the two black um, circles, you're good to go. Since I have an E46, I'm going to hit F3 pops up a little menu. I'm going to go down to chassis and my options. You see there are three options. There's an ASC slash DSC, there's a DSC MK60, and a DSC 5.7. Try whichever one works. Only one of them is going to work. There are, you know, obviously three different kinds of DSC systems. So find the one that works for you. In my case, it's the MK60. I've got a little menu here. And I'm going to hit F6 for activate. Now i got another menu and I've got E46, ASC, DSC, rework, bleeding, brake caliper, front left, slash front right, or I'm sorry, front left, slash right left, rear left, <laughs> front left, rear left, and the next one down says uh, front right and rear right, and then I've got like a mini ASC, DSC, same options, front left, rear right, blah, 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 and then a mini ABS. Now, I'm, I'm able to get like the F3 one, the rear right, rear left one to work, and then I'm able to get the mini ones to work so it's kind of kind of weird but uh, from what I can tell um, it, it kind of doesn't matter as long as you do the the, the left and the right um, the, the front left and front right or the rear rear left rear right ones as long as you get one of them to work that's kind of all you need so here's what it sounds like uh, if you activate one of these options you're gonna hear the pump and then you're gonna hear the valve open and close several times When you activate that routine, you hear the pump uh, go, and then you hear the valve open and close a couple of times. When you run this, uh, when you run the whole procedure in the the GT1 software or the DIS software, um, it does that twice. It does that whole routine twice just to make sure you you know you you get enough fluid moving through there. So you can do it as many times as you want with IMPA, which I like. I, I find it actually easier, more convenient. It's just right to the point. You know, you just activate whichever line you want, the front or the rear. Uh, how do you actually use this? Well, um, either you use a pressure bleeder or you have a friend helping you. And the friend is, is obviously going to be, you know, if you don't have a pressure bleeder at all, you saw on the screen it said the brake pedal has to be pressed about 80% during the procedure. They mean, you know, if you're not using a, a pressure bleeder. And you need the friend to help you because the friend has to be back uh, where the, where the, the, um, the brake caliper is and he has to be cracking open the bleed screw and you have to be pressing on the brake pedal, then you hit F3 or F4 or whatever to activate the pump and press the fluid out of there. That, you know, that along with your, with the pressure you're applying to the brake pedal will get the fluid at it, will get the fluid moving through the brake system, will get it bleeding and will ultimately get the air out of the system. Uh, when you, when the brake pedal or just before the brake pedal reaches or bottoms out, your friend needs to close the bleeder valve and then you let the brake pedal, you know, return and then you can do it again. You can press down on the brake pedal, he can open the bleed screw, then you can press F3 or F4, you've got the laptop on your on your lap, you're inside, you're sitting in the driver's seat obviously, and uh, you can just let it pump and, and click, 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 and hopefully he tells, you know, your friend's going to tell you, yeah, I see bubbles coming out, and then eventually he's going to say, no more bubbles are coming out, and then you guys can stop. And that's basically how you do it. That or you can do it yourself if you have a brake pressure, uh, a pressure bleeder, 
And um, I have a, a video on brake pressure bleeding, so go check that out if you want to see how I made mine and how I did mine. Um, in that particular case, you know, what I do is I just kind of have like a longer USB cable and I've got the, I've got the cable sticking out of the driver's window, of the driver window. I've got the, the window down, obviously. And I just kind of have the, the laptop near me. I'm in the back there and I just crack the bleed screw. I've got the, I've got the pressure already applied. So that's, you know, having a pressure bleeder is like having someone with their foot on the brake pedal the whole time. And the nice thing about that is that you know, some master cylinders can actually get old as they can wear. It is a piston with a rubber seal around it. And normally when you're pressing on the brake, you know, that piston and that rubber seal, they only move in a very small uh, uh, distance. So if you're pressing the brake pedal all the way to the floor, when the bleed screw is open, you're actually pressing that, that master cylinder all the way in and, and the, the, uh, the seal is actually traveling to part of the cylinder that it's never traveled to before part that's actually a little bit smaller because you got to realize that the part that it's in it's kind of worn away the the inside of that cylinder over time so that's become bigger over time right and, and if you press it into the smaller part of the cylinder like the the way the cylinder was when it was brand new it's going to compress the seal and then when you when you actually draw it back to the beginning the seal is going to be a little more compressed and it's it's back into this the area where there you know it was kind of a little bit worn away you might get some leakage that way. That, that does happen. It, it might not happen with yours, but it does happen. That's why a, pr a brake pressure bleeder is absolutely the way to go because you don't have to work the brake pedal at all. You don't have to push the master cylinder in. The brake pressure bleeder is pressing on the fluid and that's what's causing the fluid to travel through the system and out of the bleeder screw. So that's the absolute best way to do it and it's really not that hard to make one. Um, I still need to make a video on how to make one, but I, I think it's actually pretty obvious. You know, um, it's it, it's a very simple modification that you make to a, a garden sprayer. You actually all the only modification is that you need to drill a hole and thread in a um, like a pressure gauge. But you really don't even need to do that if you just kind of pump it up a couple of times. You know, then as long as you have some pressure in there, I mean, you'll be able to tell if you have pressure because when you crack the bleed screw, you'll see brake fluid coming out, and if you don't see it, then you need to add more pressure to the to the to the to the garden sprayer but anyway check out that video i'll put a link in the description on this one but uh i hope you've seen how uh, basically you can use the inpa software to activate the bleed procedure and bleed your brakes if you have happened to run your master cylinder dry by mistake anyway thanks for watching